Okay. Uh, this is our video is for our cover twos for our linebackers and DBs. Uh, we're still calling this spread coverage as we have in the past, but the uh, the fundamentals and the system of what we're doing are going to change just a little bit in our cover two. Okay. Uh, as we talk about our DBs lately, uh, we're pretty tight. Okay. You're one by nine, one by ten. I don't want you getting back 12, 13 yards for playing cover two. Uh, there may be some situations where it's a very long down and distance. We don't want to give anything deep, so we do play a little bit more off. But I want to show that we're still in that press, real tight alignment. So our corners are up. Our safety is going to be about one by nine. Remember, if number two is removed from the line of scrimmage, you're one yard inside by nine yards off the ball. One yard inside, nine yards off the ball. Uh, linebackers, our number two receivers, are removed. So you are apex between the tackle and number two on both sides. Mike, you have your A gap. We've made a right call here. Our back's off to the right. So we're making a right call. Again, that will be situational week to week, depending on our tendencies that we get uh, from our from our scout team or, or from uh, from scout film, excuse me. Uh, so cover two is very simple. Uh, I'm going to use – I'll put my red marker up, so I'm just going to use my black marker for right now. Uh, cover two basically breaks the field down to seven zones. Okay, uh, Our safeties have the deep half of the field is where our cities are going. We have deep half, and this cat over here has this – Deep half, right? Where that safety is going. Deep half, deep half. You have to get off the hashes. You cannot stay in tight. You've got any deep fade routes. You've got any uh, deep posts into your zone, any type of wheel route to sideline. That's going to be your responsibility. You've got into this half. You've got to play with your head on a swivel uh, and really watch for what these two guys are doing. Uh, cannot uh, understress the importance of your weekly scouting reports. Uh, I know myself and Coach McKay uh, will do a great job of giving you seven guys as much knowledge as we can without overloading you. But you need to know the tendencies of your uh, of your opponent, uh, know what routes they want to run, what situations they want to run. We'll make play calls based on the situations, but you need to know in your mind, you know, this kid likes to run, uh, they go on this hash, they want to run a smash route on a corner with that slot receiver. Be mindful of those things. Just have a little bit of knowledge of your opponent. Uh, backers. You have a hook curl in there. Mike, you have the deep middle. I said deep middle. You have the middle of the field. Uh, what I don't want to see this year from our Mike linebackers, uh, we got to get some depth. When we drop, we've got to get some depth. We can't just backpedal six, seven yards. We got to get some depth. These routes under here, these five-yard crossing routes, they don't throw them. I'm not worried about those little short. Uh, five yard cross. They're throwing something where they got to drag right across, real shallow. Uh, they want to throw that. We're going to ride the ball and make that play. If they want to live and die with that all night long, that's fine. Uh, if you get a chance in collision, of course, but don't don't get too caught up in covering these really, really, really short four to six yards. Okay, keep your head on a swivel. Watch for crossers. Uh, get yourself get a little bit of depth here. Uh, outside backer here, you have that hook curl, and then corners. You, excuse me, you have the flats, okay? You have flats on both sides. You are still in your press alignment, all right? You are pressing that corner, that uh, uh, that receiver. We're not making contact per se, all right? But we're up in him. We're not going to give him a free release. As he releases, you get to that flat area here, and he's running a fade route. Your eyes got to come back inside. He's not your responsibility. You have a zone. We talked today about zone eyes versus man eyes. If I'm covering him one-on-one, -on -one, my eyes are on him, okay? That's my responsibility. If I have zone eyes, once I get off that, that uh, press route there, say they want to run an out route into my zone, I'm going to run him about five yards. My eyes got to flip back inside and find the quarterback. If he's looking here and number two's him in my zone, I've got to be ready to make that play. If number two runs across the field and one runs a fade route, well, I can say under his route because there's no one in my zone. Okay, don't just stay up here in flats because you have the flats. If there's no threat, you're allowed to continue to get some depth. Okay, You guys still have run first. Your backers are still run first players. The only time a backer is not a run first player is if we have the trips. Uh, and if we get a trip situation, odds are we will check out of red and play either black or uh, we can play our match coverage. Uh, we can play multiple things against trips. I'm not a huge trips guy with cover two. It can be done. Uh, but the only time you guys have a Pass first read outside backers as if you are in a 
uh, a trip situation, which you are not here. So you are run first, watching your gap to be the B, in this case, or the overhang, uh, and then you are dropping hook curl, finding the quarterback, finding the guy in your zone, head on a swivel. Uh, once you read that quarterback's eyes, you read his hips, he points, arms go up, you're free to break on the ball uh, and make a play, okay? This is cover two. This is very simple stuff. Uh, I don't think this is too challenging. We've had some of this in the past. Uh, you guys have ran a cover two, uh, but we haven't ran a true, quote, unquote, cover two, but not two read. This is basic cover two defense, okay? Uh, a lot of this stuff, look for this down towards the goal line, uh, short yard situations, and they're kind of inside that red zone. Uh, maybe not true goal line, but inside the 20-yard line. It's kind of condensed the field, put a lot of guys in space, uh, make them be just in the air instead of on the ground. Uh, down there towards the 20, uh, a lot of good opportunities for you guys to make some plays. So you don't have so much room to cover there on that uh, that red zone uh, part of the field as offense is going in. Okay, corners an important part here is you got to stay that same that same look. I don't want to give away that we're playing cover two. I want it to look like we're playing that press uh, that press shell that we're going to play a lot this year. That press quarters uh, match quarters defense without us getting out of this. Okay, this is cover two out of our base 4-3 alignment. 